Hi everyone and welcome to La Trobe High School. My name is Brent Armistead and I'm the principal of La Trobe High. It's a really exciting time at the moment. What we're doing is getting ready to welcome our grade six students um, into the school environment but also running some activities over the next few weeks. Uh, and we're excited about meeting them but also meeting their families. Some things that I know that you'd want to know about La Trobe High School, one is our vision. Our vision is inspiring positive futures. And for every student that enrols in our school, what we want for them is an extremely positive future. And everything we do, we set up to grow them as students. Uh, our values, uh, we have four values. And with those values, what we're wanting is that is going to guide all the actions um, of our students' behaviour and how they go about their learning each day. So our first value is learning. All we expect for students when they come to the Trobe High School is to give their best effort in every class. Second, second one is positive relationships. Um, when students come in, what we ask them to do is make sure that all their actions and all their language is going to create a positive relationship with the people that um, they see each day. For respect is our third. So with respect, uh, wearing our uniform with pride, making sure that um, every action is going to be respectful to other people and of course looking after our environment. And our last value, number four, is resilience. So for resilience, what we want them to do is persevere when things get tough, but just as important, resilience is also asking for help when you need it. Uh, and that will continue to help them grow as students as well. What I'm going to do now is pass over to some of our student leaders. They're going to take you on a tour of our wonderful school. I hope you enjoy that and uh, get as much out of it as you can. Of course, if you need more information, contact the school office or book in a meeting either with our transition coordinators or with me as principal. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jackson and this is Alia. We're going to give you a quick virtual tour of the school. Thank you for coming with us on our virtual tour of the school. Maths at La Trobe High School is different to anything your son or daughter would have experienced before. Our goal is to create successful, independent, lifelong learners. Students set their own goals based on their own data and teacher feedback. At the beginning of their high school maths journey, students complete a series of diagnostic tests to determine their current level of mathematical understanding across the curriculum. Once this is completed, students work their way through the curriculum at their own level and pace. Every two weeks, students are provided with an opportunity to show their understanding of the work they have been completing. This provides us with information on every student's individual growth. We have been developing our program over the last 12 months and in that time, students' average growth rates have been double the national average. In any given lesson, learning is happening right across the Australian curriculum. Year 7 Humanities at La Trobe High School is broken up into two subjects, English and Hats. So Grade 7 students participate in three lessons of each a week. And what that entails are two integrated units of study throughout the year. One based on a book called The Lost Diamonds of Killer Cranky. The other integrated unit is on refugees that we're currently studying now. Um, in English and Hass, we also look at units like ancient civilizations, which you can see some student work behind me. And we delve into some traditional tales as well on the English side. The other aspect of English and Hass in Year 7 is an embedded response to intervention where we roll out two programs, one on focusing on spelling and one focusing on reading and they're our STAR assessment which is a guided literacy program with a focus on reading 
and our other one is Words Their Way, which is a teacher-directed and student-centred approach to teaching vocabulary and looking at spelling development. Aside from that, the Grade Sevens have a wonderful time in this space, um, and they're really fortunate to be able to dive right in um, to historical times like ancient Rome and ancient Greece, as well as look back into fairy tales that they may have studied uh, when they were younger. Hi everyone, my name is Fiona Hazelwood and I'm one of our assistant principals here at Latrobe High School. One of the roles that I have as assistant principal is working with grade seven students and helping out our grade seven coordinator and I'm thoroughly looking forward to meeting all of you next year. Another part of my role is to work in the PI area. PI stands for personal interests and you might have heard them called options or um, choice subjects in other schools. At Latrobe High we call them personal interests. And you guys next year will have nine blocks a week of PIs. Um, within that nine blocks, you will have two blocks of HPE. You will have five blocks of a PIs or PIs that you get to choose. And you'll have two blocks where you're involved in a PI called Tasters. And that will give you a little bit of a taste of all of the different areas that our PI subjects entail. So that's so that you can make informed choices when you go into grade eight and nine. So you get lots of choice here at La Trobe High. You get to choose some of the subjects that you do and you'll also experience through the taster subjects all of the different areas that we have. Looking forward to seeing you all next year. Can't wait to have you here. Hi everyone and welcome to Science. My name is Mrs Crossan and this is Mrs Lowry and we can't wait to see you next year. In Grade 7 we work through four main areas of science which are chemistry, biology, physics and, and earth and space. In chemistry we get to use the Bunsen burners to bend glass, conduct experiments so we get to know the names of the equipment and investigate the many ways in which substances can be separated such as filtering, boiling, chromatography and distillation. In Earth and Space, we look at renewable and non-renewable fuels, how they are obtained and the effects of pollution on the Earth. We make windmills and if the timing is right, cook food using the sun and even look through bags of rubbish. In biology, the focus is on classification, food chains and food webs, as well as factors that affect our ecosystems. In biology, we even get to dissect our vomit. Finally, we get to look at forces and how they affect what we do. We get to make parachutes, play with magnets and attempt to make an electrical motor. We also investigate simple machines and how they are used to make life easier for humans. Science is so much fun. It's all about asking questions and finding answers and broadening our understanding of ourselves and the place in which we live. And we can't wait, wait to see you. you. What are three tips that you have for next year's Grade 7s? Approach everything with optimism, be as confident as possible and be an independent learner. What's the biggest challenge you face transitioning from Grade 6 to Grade 7? Um, meeting all of the new people all at once, uh, getting my head around the timetables time and all the buildings and everything. It's hard to get your head around but you get used to it. What is the biggest difference at high school compared to primary school? Um, the independence and having different teachers for subjects. What are some things you wish you knew as a grade six transitioning into high school? Something I wish I knew was that it's not as scary as people put it off to be. It's re I'm just really nice and comfortable. What are your favourite things about grade seven? My favourite things about grade seven is the canteen because it has so much to offer and so much great food and the prices are actually as a student leader, what advice would you give back to your grade 7 self? I would advise myself to take every opportunity that comes my way and not shy away from any challenges. As a leader, what advice would you give to your grade 7 self? Really just to not stress as much and have a good time while it lasts.